Makai, in an interview um, that was published over the weekend, basically blamed the coaching staff for his injury last August because um, he was playing on the right side. What's your reaction to that? Um, you know, I'll be honest. Like, I, I'm not going to get into the negative of all of it because if, if you talk to 10 people, they're, it's not about finger pointing. Uh, what I'm focused on, though, is over the last six months, um, Makai has done an unbelievable job getting his weight down towards a, a healthy weight that's sustainable. Uh, he's been available during OTAs. He's been prompt and uh, very diligent with regards to meetings. Um, he's in the best. I think he's in probably one, of, probably the best shape of his life. Uh, he's got a smile on his face and he's attacking it, and that's what's most important. Um, whatever happened in the past happened in the past, and. And it's not about finger pointing, it's just about moving forward. And if he keeps approaching this offseason um, the way he has and he keeps attacking it the way he has, uh, excited to see what he does with his fourth year. Have you talked to him about those comments? Um, yeah, we, we talk all the time. He's, he's fine. It's, uh, like I said, he's, he's in a really good place, and, and I want to keep him there. Does that change how you might use him positionally this year? Um, whether right, no. Best five are on the field. He has, I mean, made it very, very clear that he is a left tackle. So if you were to play him at right, I mean, have you discussed to him that that he might have to play right, even though he thinks he's a left? Uh, he, he knows. Um, you know, I think Dwayne Brown has something to say about it. I think Max Mitchell has something to say about it. I think the young kid Carter Warren that we drafted. Um, am I forgetting somebody? Who else out there? There's, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting. What's that? Billy. Yeah, Billy. Uh, so the, the good thing is is that for uh, we have a, a lot of really good tackles right now that are competing to be one of the five uh, or one of the two tackles that are on the football field. So it'll be a good, healthy competition, and, and those who attack it with the right mindset will, will end up reaping the benefits. How do you handle when a player has strong feelings towards something? Where his feelings are hurt by, he's disappointed in the organization. You guys obviously have to clear the air. So how do you, how would you do you do uh, big thing, it's, you know, what would I tell myself? I tell myself to focus on the things that you got control over. You don't have control over what, all the external stuff that's happening. Just stay focused on your job. Stay focused in the moment. Stay focused on the things that you can do to, to help yourself achieve what you want. And if you stay focused on that and ignore all the external factors, then you'll probably get the result you want. But uh, worrying about where you're aligning and all that stuff, it, and like I said, it, I would tell, tell them, Tell all the players, just focus on the things you got control over and things will be fine.